What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to bind text for a text box with PyQt5 and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, I'm going to show you how to bind text from a text box. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership to all my courses, videos, and books one time fee, which is insanely cheap. All right, so you can see we've got a text box here. And as I start to type, my name is John Elder. It's mirrored in the label below. This is binding. And I just did this for Kinter. I figured I'd show you how to do it with PyQt5 as well. It's a lot easier with PyQt5. And that's what we're going to be looking at in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other PyQt5 videos in the series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got our basic PyQt5 starter code that we've always got. I'm calling it text underscore bind dot pi. And the first thing we want to do is create our GUI. And we're going to use the designer for that as we always do. So let's head over to our terminal. I'm in my C PyQt5 directory. I've got my virtual environment turned on. And let's just run the designer. And when we do this pops up, we just want to create a main window. And let me kind of resize this real quick because we're not going to need all this space. All right, so what we want is a text box. I'm going to use a line edit. So we can pop that in there like that. And I'm going to change the font on this to 14 just to make it a little bigger. And we also want a label. So I could just drag a label over here and kind of resize this a bit. And let's say enter text above dot dot dot, whatever. And I also want to increase the font size of this a bit. All right, so let's resize that. Okay, so like I said, a very simple layout here, just a line edit and a label. Let's come up here and file save as we want to save this in our PyQt5 directory. And I'm going to call this text underscore bind dot UI. Okay, so let's head over to our code and let's open up that file. So open file, let's find our text underscore bind dot UI. And here it is. And as always, we need to import the things that we're going to be using. So we can see right here, we've got a line edit. I can copy this, bring it up here, import that. We're also using a label that's a Q label, so I can import that as well. Okay, so let's come down here and define our widgets as we always do. So I'm going to call self.edit for our line edit and set that equal to self.find child. And this is going to be, we already know, a Q line edit, so I can copy that there. And the name of our Q line edit is line edit. So I just copy it from our UI file. And that needs to be in quotation marks. So let me just copy this guy. We also have a label. So let me call that one label. And again, this is a Q label. So we could pop that in there. And the name of our label is label. <laughs> right? So all right, pretty simple. Okay, so we've got our stuff here. And if we go ahead and save this and run it just to make sure this is working right, we can do that. Head back over to our code and let's go Python text underscore bind dot pi. And when we do, we get our app. When we type stuff in here, nothing happens. So obviously what we want is when we type stuff in here, we want this label to update automatically as we type. Very easy to do this. And I'm going to actually show you a couple of ways to do this. One just by typing and the other one just by hitting enter. We'll do the enter one first. So let's say uh, hit enter button. And to do this, really easy, we just call self.edit because that's the thing we want to bind, the line edit box, right? So self.edit.editingfinished.connect. And then we want to run some function whenever we're finished. And the editing finished, this thing right here, is basically saying when you hit the enter button, right? When you hit the enter button, we want to run some function. I'm going to call it self dot hit enter. I don't know, whatever. So let's go ahead and copy this, come down here and define that function. We want to pass in self as we always do. Now inside of here, we just want to do something. What do we want to do? Well, we just want to update our label, right? So that's self dot label. And then we can dot set the text to that to whatever we want. We could say, you know, hello, whatever. Or we could enter the actual text itself. I'll put hello in here just so we could see this. So okay, let's come back here. And let's run this guy again. And I could type in hi there, hit enter, boom. When I do, it says hello down there. Now it doesn't say hi there because we didn't tell it to say hi there. We told it to say hello. 
but you could just as easily tell it to say whatever's in this guy. So we could just call self.edit.text and that should do it. So run this guy again, see if that worked. I suspect it will. I could just type in codemy.com, hit enter, and boom, now it says codemy.com. So that's what happens when you hit enter, and that's cool, but that's not really what we want. We wanna sort of type, and as we're typing, we want the label to change as we're typing. So how do we do that? Same sort of thing, slightly different signal here. We want to now say, what, on click or something, whatever. And here it's the same, it's gonna be self.edit dot, but now it's gonna be text changed. So every time the text is changed, we want to connect to some function. And let's call this self dot, what, change text, something like that. I don't really wanna call it this because that might confuse things. So we'll just call it change text. And again, we can come down here and change text. Here, let's say, uh, click enter. And again, we just wanna define a function. We wanna pass in self as always. And again, we just wanna change that label. So it's gonna be self dot label dot set text to whatever we typed, which is self.edit.txt, same thing as here. So we could just pop that right in. So, okay, let's go ahead and save this. That looks good. Come back here and run it. I am typing things. My name is John. And you can see as we type stuff and then hit backspace, it changes if we come over here my real name is John, right? We can change things around inside of here and it will just update as we type. So very cool, very easy, and that's really all there is to it. So that's a couple of ways to sort of bind text boxes, line edit boxes, and really any kind of widget kind of works the same way. You're gonna do the same dot text change dot connect thing for instantaneous or dot editing finished dot connect for hitting the enter key whichever you're interested in doing, pretty easy, and that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So it's access to all my courses, almost 50 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.